Hi everyone, I'm Andi Arsana. I'm the head of the international office of Universitas Gajah Mada. Welcome to our first uh, podcast. Now I'm here with Tifa, my friend. I think Tifa should introduce yourself first. Okay. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Tifa Malik. Uh, I'm sure for our international students, you already know me. I'm the one who emailed you. Uh, so this is me. I'm the incoming student exchange coordinator at UGF. All right, Tifa, how are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> how are you, sir? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Um, we are going to have our students coming yeah. for the first time physically yeah. after almost two years or, or yeah, uh, yeah exactly close two to two years, years yeah. right what do you feel about that tifa <laughs> uh, first thing first mm. i think i'm excited because i've mm. uh, never met students after yeah. two years right but then i'm mm. kind of nervous as well because this will be our very first time right uh accepting international students physically right. we've read that um we cannot control or handle <laughs> uh, all international students well right. uh, even during the pandemic, we all, right. we are afraid that we cannot do that uh, well. That's very true. I think I yeah. think we we really need to prepare a lot of things, right? Yes, exactly. I'm sure that uh, our international students are having a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> Let me now pretend to be all right. <laughs> an international student and asking okay. a lot of questions to you. Uh, I have yeah. 15 questions, by the way, for you. Okay, Tifa. that's a lot. <laughs> All right. Uh, in general, I think people really want to know, mm -hmm. uh, like, how is the situation regarding COVID-19 in Indonesia in general, or Jogja in particular in our city? Okay. Uh -huh. First, uh, I am actually might not be the right person to tell about uh, the situation of pandemic. Right. But then maybe I will talk about uh, how the pandemic in Jogja Right. Um, Indonesia in general is doing good in the last eight months. Correct. Uh, I agree. We have you. our peak cases in like june or july this yes. year but then after that in september until now those cases is kind of like decreased a lot okay um for Jogja itself uh, by day we only have like two or three positive oh, cases that's... yeah uh up, i'm if i'm not mistaken yesterday right. uh we have like uh, additional only three cases oh that, uh, that's actually good news right? yeah yeah that's uh, actually good news because actually Jogja already have like 96 yeah. percent of the resident has been vaccinated so all right yeah that right. might be one of the reason why actually it's kind mm. of like doing good okay so so it means now indonesia in general is ready to have international students right yeah okay that, that's only if the omicron doesn't make any drama <laughs> <laughs> well think across about that yeah so if we have our international students coming uh, what happens to the class are we going to have a, a full online class okay. or full offline hopefully that's what i hope okay. honestly <laughs> or hybrid by now i think we haven't hmm. confirmed anything for right. the spring semester right um but then if we look uh, our situation right now we mm -hmm. already have mm -hmm. like a hybrid simulation right in right. october okay uh, until now um if the yes. condition is stable until right. like january or february mm -hmm. i think there might be like a hybrid classes okay i think so that that uh, that might become norms actually yeah. right for yeah. the hybrid i have actually uh, uh tested okay. a number of hybrid classes mm -hmm. to be honest with you it is not easy but okay. but quite interesting <laughs> okay because but i really really hope that we are going to have a, a full offline class yeah uh, but it's still risky as well because there okay. is a uh, omicron cases right so, so i think the the best possibility that we have is the hybrid hybrid right? yeah okay right uh so if students ask what should they prepare if mm -hmm. they want to come to indonesia i know this is like a uh you know very general question yeah <laughs> what is your advice to them there are a lot of things that should be prepared <laughs> first thing first um mm. Uh, if we're talking about mm. the things or documents, uh, we will right. explain everything to the international students. Right. Most likely, we'll talk about like visa and immigration matters. Okay. But then, uh, outside the visa immigration matters, okay. they also have to pay attention to the regulation, the existing regulation before they enter Indonesia. All right. All right. Yeah, because the regulation is kind of like changing in a couple of days. Yeah, of uh, course, because yeah. they really need to anticipate a lot of things, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. If I'm not mistaken, like a few mm. weeks ago, we have right. like only quarantine three days only. Uh -huh. And then in two days, it changes to five and then it changes to ten days again. So right. it kind or of even like, more now, right? I think it is ten now. Oh, ten now. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, that's why uh, first thing first, they have mm. to look up all the yeah. relations as well. And also like uh, maybe in digital kind of view, they have to prepare like application to enter Indonesia, okay. like a hack or 
peduli lindungi. Oke. Okay. All of that things will be explained by us through like our guideline. All right. So so uh, we will provide them with a, yeah, a, a like complete guidelines. Yeah, step by step, step even by step. before they enter Indonesia. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good news. You talk about the quarantine. Uh, mm-hmm. the tell tell me more about that. Um, okay, <laughs> for the quarantine, it's mm. kind of like changing, uh, right. just like I told you before. Uh, mm. First, they arrive in, Jog- uh, in Jakarta. Okay. It should be in Jakarta or uh, one of the airport in uh, northern Sulawesi. If Is I'm it Manado? Mistaken. Yeah, in Manado. Okay, But I then, think most of them will be in Jakarta. Yeah, That's because what it's I reckon. closer. Okay. Right. Yeah, so they have to enter from Soekarno Hatta okay. and then arrive and then uh, book. Any hotels that has been provided by the government, and we will provide them with a list. Yeah, correct? we will with provide the like the most safe okay. list of hotels because we have checked like their medical personnel, all right, all their right, security, right. their okay. safety. Um, we have make a list, and then we'll we we'll already have a like tell them one in the guideline as well. All right, all so right. they will have the quarantine for ten mm. days. Okay, um, but then they uh, mm. students. Uh, might uh, expect like not a comfortable situation right because sometimes there are some hotel that will have set regulation to not uh, turn on the air conditioner oh, oh, just like go. that so mm-hmm. yeah maybe they will face some yeah comfortable issue with. okay okay i think but i think we really need to we really need to understand that yeah. right and comply to that right exactly okay uh, with regards to uh, uh countries tifa mm-hmm. Uh, we know that the 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 dynamics is really high. Yeah. You know, like sometimes we uh, ban mm-hmm. some countries for uh, for the citizen to come. Do you have any uh, information about that? Yeah. Are there uh, any specific countries that Indonesia ban at the moment? For the up to date inf- uh, regulation, mm. I think we mm. already banned three countries. The first is United Kingdom. Okay. The oh. second one is Norway. Right. And right. the second is Denmark. Yeah. All right. So it means that uh, even though in general Indonesia is open, I mean mm-hmm. they open the borders, but for those particular countries, yeah. they have different regulation, yeah. correct? They okay. cannot enter for So now. if our students come from those countries, they really need to communicate with us, right? Because exactly. we need to, to arrange, to probably reschedule their coming, is it correct? Yes. Okay. Now, with regards to, uh, okay, visa now. Mm-hmm. Even before COVID-19, yeah. visa is not something straightforward. Yeah, and we have exactly. to be hundred, I mean, we have to be frank about that. How does it uh, look like now about visa? It's becoming more complicated, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> because uh, right. there are like additional documents mm. um, in previous uh, procedures. Okay. Let's say we have six documents, but right. now we have like nine documents. All right. One of them is like there should be a certificate or letter of confirmation that the student already have a full okay. vaccination. Right. And also there should be like a good conduct letter provided by the authorities in their home country okay. or even maybe their home university right and also there is also like um i would say like a personal statement stating uh-huh. that uh, they have an international insurance okay therefore if they come to indonesia they will be safe and if they got like COVID 19 in mm-hmm. indonesia they will cover every expenses oh they, they have to have make the statement yeah, about exactly. that right So meaning that uh, we will once again provide them with yeah. all of this information. We will provide all the templates, all the oh, things. Oh, so that, that's nice. Yeah. So students I, I imagine, for example, somebody in I don't know New York or wherever, mm-hmm. if they are requested to uh, bring this specific letter, yeah. and they don't they don't know the format and the yeah exactly. So don't worry about that, right? So we will provide yeah, them. Yeah, we will with provide the, the letter, especially about the letter of good conduct. It's okay. kind of like Indonesian way. Yeah, right. So. That's why we already prepared the template, so the student only need to bring that to their home university or even to the nearest local government authorities that have the authority to issue that letter. All right, all right, all right, good. Now, uh, uh, next question, Tifa. Uh, is there any uh, uh, maximum date regarding regarding uh, the validity of the document that the, you you just yeah. mentioned a lot of documents, right? Yeah. So, is there any any uh, expiry date about that? Yeah. Of um. course, uh, it's Indonesia. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So every letter, uh, mm. every documents have yeah. there should be okay. like the date of yeah. the documents, okay. and it should be like in the last three months. It's if it's more than three months, it, then it cannot be accepted by the government. Oh, meaning that, for example, if they want to uh, uh, 
not that they want to, but they have to. Yeah. <laughs> they have to bring this uh, a good con a letter of good conduct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means that they really had to obtain this letter uh, less than three months before yeah. their departure. Is that correct? Not before the departure. Before the application. Before the application. Oh, so let's right, say right, right, the okay. student will we will apply the student visa right now. Yeah. So, so today is December, so it might be the letter at least it's not more than September maybe or September, yeah. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. September will be the earliest yeah. that they secured the document, correct? Right? Exactly. Okay. Now with with regards to uh, this uh, you know, this is actually a bit a bit uh, silly sometimes or funny. Mm -hmm about the passport size a photo <laughs> you know what i mean yeah uh, so people found it really complicated sometimes yeah, to provide this kind of uh, because i think uh in the in the foreign countries right. they don't have like kind of photograph of indonesian thing <laughs> i don't know how to say it but right. sometimes they if we ask for photos okay they will have like uh with a different angel so okay, not yeah. like us straightforward but yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. like this so they cannot comprehend and understand what kind of ah, photograph right. that means that that's because why sometimes for us if they do it like a, a not a straightforward mm -hmm. like that it's considered wrong right yeah and From the, the government Indonesia. will have to will ask us to revise okay that thing so sometimes we mm. uh, when we explain it to the international students mm. we also send the example okay so meaning that you really have to face the camera. Yeah. No smile or no funny thing yeah, whatsoever, with right? Yeah, red background <laughs> and then it should be like a uh, not a t-shirt or a bikini. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because sometimes international <laughs> students send with a they do that, right? kind of sexy uh, clothes. Uh, uh, it's not allowed. If you yet. don't really have enough time, okay. you will be the one who edit through Photoshop. <laughs> but then if we already have a lot of international students so, of course we will ask them to okay make a new photo so basically just pay attention to the guidelines that we provide yeah okay it right. will be more like uh -huh. uh, it will make them okay even confused or yeah. think that why there's a lot that yeah. should be appropriate but then yeah right. what can we do <laughs> that's very true but but i think uh well this is probably not uh the most convenient thing yeah but they they just they have no 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 we option no right yeah <laughs> just just comply all right okay uh, if they come from for example a country uh, where the English is not the, the their language mm -hmm. so they have the documents in different languages yeah what happens if they don't have the translation for that they should have they should okay. <laughs> they should have the translation nice. uh, okay let's say um, I think the last case that there is a student from Korea that have an uh, academic transcript in oh. Hangul. So I asked her in like, Korean letters. Yeah, I asked her mm. please change it to English, and then she right. said we don't have the English version. And then mm. uh, I asked them please translate it in like how do you say it in English? Um, Latin? No. The Latin uh, Latin no. Trans. Penerjemah sumpah. A uh, sworn translator. Yes, yeah, tra sworn translator or even notary. Okay, mm -hmm. so it, it means that it is not merely a translation of the document. It has to be uh, legalized. officiated, yeah. legalized by yeah. uh, uh, basically a sworn translator or mm -hmm. whatever they have it in yeah. in their country. But we, we call it a sworn translator mm -hmm. in, in Indonesian, right? Yeah. So basically the authority, oh, sorry, a party that have the authority to translate the document. See yeah. what you mean, right? Yeah. Okay, so first they have to translate. Yeah. No excuse. No like, excuse no, okay. because the, the, this kind of document will be screened by the first thing first will be screened by the Ministry of Education. Okay. Uh, so they have to understand. Correct. Yeah, if they have to understand. If they don't understand, then they cannot do anything. Uh, uh, can so, they judge, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So translate and then translate it by an official yeah. translator, whatever they call it in mm -hmm. the country. Oh, that, that's nice. Uh, okay, now about the, the uh, visa. You know, we have been doing this for years and years, yeah. but people keep asking what type of visa <laughs> should I get to come to Indonesia? All right. Oh, for right. St international students, of right. course, it's a student visa. Okay. Um, the code is like C316, okay. if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, they only have 
uh, they only have this option for students. All right. But sometimes right. it's for students that have like a shorter uh, length of program. Right. Let's say a month or two months. Okay. They can also use like the social cultural visa. All right. Yeah. All right. So the option is two: the social cultural visa or students visa. But then for international students who have the period of study more than six months. It should be like student visa because no, it's no more convenient. Okay. So 316, right? Yeah. 316. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once again, they don't have to worry because we will provide them with the yeah. list, right? As long as complete. they follow our guidelines. steps and guidelines. Okay, good, good. Now, if sometimes we have a, a private student or self-funded student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do they need to provide a certain amount of money or, or like a deposit, something like okay. that? Is there any? Luckily, in Indonesia, they don't have to. Oh, okay. That's yeah. good news. Uh, mm. The embassy will yeah. not ask. Uh, the, not the embassy anymore. Right? Yeah. The immigration uh, yeah. directorate will not ask that. Uh, as long as I know it's only like a personal statement stating that they can, uh, how do you say it? They can guarantee that they have a short uh, enough amount of money oh, while okay. completing their study in Indonesia. Only so, that so thing. there's no specific amount. Yeah, no or numbers. No. Oh, that's actually quite generous, isn't it? Yeah, but <laughs> mm, sometimes there is cases that the students cannot go home or doesn't have enough money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But there's but, but something. Yeah, that's another story. Yeah, that's another story. <laughs> but I think. Uh, let let us take it as a good news yeah. that you don't really have to provide the certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. But uh, please be realistic, yeah. <laughs> right? If exactly. you live in another country, of course you really have to, to prepare the money. Prepare the money. All mm -hmm. right. Now, um, sometimes people ask us. Uh, they said that they don't receive any updates or any emails about yeah. their documents. What happened? Okay, guys. <laughs> Are we lazy enough to do that or what? No, okay. actually. <laughs> No, actually, first they have mm. to understand that we receive a lot of international students. In no doubt about it. Like <laughs> up to this day, I think we have right. like five hundred hundred emails. So it kind all of right, like all right, all right, a all lot. Right. Uh, okay. So that's why we reply to the oldest one. So if okay. the student keep sending the same message, their message will be in the uh, newest okay. email. So. Yeah, of course they will get the letters. Answer. Okay, letters uh, as well. All right, all right. All so right. Uh, yeah, just the tips is just wait. Wait, be patient. If there is any uh, urgent thing, we will uh, we will also check the email as soon as possible as well. Okay. But if there is not any urgent uh, matters matters that we should go, hmm. uh, just stay calm. <laughs> okay. We can handle it. Uh, is there any any uh, uh, other channel, Tifa? Uh, oh, an yeah, of international course. student can use. Of course, maybe international students don't really know about this. Okay. We all, we actually have like a social media. We okay. have Instagram. All right. WhatsApp, uh, LinkedIn, even TikTok. We have. Okay, uh, everything will be down here in the description. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, Line as well, and also Twitter. So I think international students, if they contact us if if they think that this is an urgent matter uh -huh. and we haven't replied their message in okay. the email they can send message to that thing because every social media was handled by one person oh that's so that's probably... there will be like a fast response okay at least it's a faster response compared yeah. to email right yeah okay so this is the tips then mm -hmm. if your email uh, is silent and then use social <laughs> media <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay so so basically uh be patient right exactly <laughs> Uh, sometimes people also ask, like students will ask if they applied already. Uh, mm -hmm. When when do they uh, receive their uh, letter, letter of, of acceptance? acceptance? Um, in the admission process, letter right. of acceptance is in the last step, which okay. means uh, the letter of acceptance will be accepted by the students once the student complete the payment in right. our online admission system. Okay. Right. So if we haven't issued the letter of over and then the student haven't uh, complete the payment of right. course the letter of acceptance will be received a uh, late as well but okay. then they don't have to worry about the letter of acceptance because mm. the letter of acceptance uh, will be used on the visa application okay but if you later haven't, basically yeah yeah if we haven't uh, give them the letter of acceptance it doesn't mean we haven't applied visa for them we already prepared the letter of acceptance but then it's only a matter that they receive it or not later not okay. right now
So if I may uh, summarize the, the procedure, they mm -hmm. apply mm -hmm. and then they will receive, the first thing they will receive is the letter of offer. Yeah. Uh, uh, stating that they need to do this and that, including yeah. uh, payment. payment. Mm -hmm. So when they uh, pay, when they have paid, it means that then they will receive the, the letter, letter of acceptance. Of acceptance right? Or even if they haven't, mm -hmm. uh, just don't worry, right? Don't worry, because, because you already prepared the kind of like... The visa application and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, now read the last, the last uh, official questions. Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the documents that, that the students need to prepare for a uh, study permit? This is very, okay. very interesting because we need study permit in Indonesia yeah, and also okay. visa application. Maybe international students doesn't really know about study permit. Right. Actually, you, better, you better explain a little they bit. They only know about <laughs> visa application, but all then right, they right. cannot apply visa without getting the study permit first. True. So the study permit is a letter stated by the Ministry of Education right mm, now, mm, uh, mm. stating that uh, the students is permitted to study in Indonesia right. uh, oh, okay. based on their application. So it is other uh, like uh, different uh, documents compared to LOA. This is not yeah, LOA. It's kind of different. Also, meaning that LOA yeah. is from our university. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then for the ministry, they, they need to have this letter also, yeah. which is the study permit. Exactly. Oh, okay. So this is from the higher institution. Right, right. Uh, and then the in the study permit, actually, this is the tricky one because right. it's, uh, it's trick. Mm -hmm. uh, they check every application one by one in, All right. in All right. every document. That way, maybe international students know that we. we kind of like send them emails please uh, revise your photos revise your ah. passport scan even the kind of like um, the shape of the passport can should be perfect right. kind of like that uh, okay. so in the study permit first thing first they need the photograph okay the red background okay uh, uh and then passport mm -hmm. and then the financial support statement, statement. the personal mm -hmm. statement mm. the academic transcript okay and yeah that's all uh, right. actually there should be like the letter of acceptance but mm -hmm. then we will be the one to prepare Provide that, that thing all right okay but once again uh, they don't have to uh, worry about this right because yeah. we are going to provide them with the, all the examples and yeah. templates and and yes. clear information is everything is clear Okay. The students only need to follow steps that we give in to them. Right. Fifteen question. You answered okay. it really, really well. <laughs> All right. I hope okay. they don't you confused. Hired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm sure that they will not be confused. Now, Tifa, maybe last words or last uh, advice if you have mm, to okay. them before they come to Indonesia. Okay. Uh, I don't have one advice. Okay. Please read the guideline carefully because there are a lot of things, right. a lot of informations in the guideline. I'm sure they will be bored by the guideline, but then it's important. Okay. So please read the guideline well. Okay. So guys, uh, I need to repeat this. Uh, <laughs> we have prepared complete guidelines, right? Yeah. Uh, very uh, thorough guidelines mm -hmm. from A to Z. So take your time to read the guidelines. And then with that, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah. All right. So uh, thank you very much, Tifa, for yeah. this very interesting conversation. Okay. And I hope it's not confusing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it is not. All right, uh, thank you very much and let us uh, uh, prepare to have our international students okay. coming to Indonesia. Yeah. All right, bye-bye, Tifa. Thank you. Okay, bye. My bye, pleasure, everyone. bye.